right everyone welcome back to the channel and we're finally going to be taking a look at our last review from the um uh what is it the third wave with um april mando gecko and last but not least ray filet i believe his name is or if i'm mispronouncing it whatever i can't um pronounce it but first name ray so really excited to get into this review um of ray this is a character that it, um i really didn't know much about into getting him which this is what i love about toy collecting i get toys you know regardless if i know the character or not if he looks cool i'm getting it and in the case of the Ninja Turtle stuff if you know they release it i'm getting it you know because i am at the end of the day a huge Ninja Turtle fan and to be honest with you guys prior to starting this channel i wasn't but you know getting the toys and honestly i love the animated series and stuff like that but i became more of a huge fan of the action figures now as um an adult than what i was when i was a kid and i gotta say man for if you missed out when you were a kid this is like the golden era for vintage reissue turtles we're getting them all guys so that being said, let's get into the unboxing. Right, guys i hope you enjoyed the unboxing um we're gonna start off with accessories as we always do um in this uh in this little pack right here with him we get three accessories as you guys saw you got the little guy and he just fell let me pick him up real quick guys he just fell um you get this guy right here little dynamite guy he is i guess he's angry because he's got a row full of dynamite and he's ready to push that lever so he must be pretty upset. Um, so I don't know what's this guy's name, but let's call him Dynamite Guy. And if you guys didn't know, he does come with Patrick. Here's Patrick. Patrick. Here's Patrick. I'm kidding, guys. This will be like um, his shooting kind of star, but he uses obviously a starfish, which is cool because if you guys didn't know much about this character like me, he is a... He survives underwater and out of water, and he is like an Aquaman type of superhero. So, you know, he would go perfect with the with my Vintage Reissue Sewer Heroes 4-pack. Um, he's going to go perfect because he's a hero himself. He's um, basically Aquaman. Basically an Aquaman. Just um, in Turtle version. You know what I mean? I mean, he looks nothing like Aquaman, but... That's what they were trying to do kind of like that kind of superhero um here's the little gun thing that he has i have no idea what you would call this a spear or something i don't know but this guy's strong guys don't let him fool you because he did take over um who was it he did fight shredder and he he he, he did a number on shredder i'm gonna tell you guys that supposedly you know from what i um looked up he almost took down shredder so you know what I mean? This guy does not play. So let's get into the figure. All right, guys. Getting into the figure, you can see um, in the back, it does look like a cape, but it's actually wings um, because he does fly. I forgot to mention he does. He can fly and obviously he can swim. So he's he's a cool character. He's giving me that um, 
like I said, Aquaman vibe with the shirt, and you can see the texture on the shirt, the the tech texture on the shirt, and the colors gives you that Aquaman's kind of vibe. But he does fly. He is a strong character. He um he's got a nice, he's got a unique colors going on to him. Um, not the biggest fan honestly of those colors that are going on, but the artwork on the box does look good. Let me go, let me grab the the box over here so you guys can kind of see. His artwork is is really nice. Uh, let me see. Let's see if I can show you guys real quick. So, in in artwork form, it looks good. I I like the artwork. I think it looks better than right over here, in figure form. Just because I don't know, it it is sketched out better. Um, and I think now looking at the artwork, I see his face. He has a lot of outline, so you can see right here, is outlined it in black and the teeth and stuff like that. So, if that would have been on the figure, I think it would have been um nicer. And I think we're getting a different hint of green on the figure. Yeah, we definitely are getting a different type of green. And I think that's what's messing up the figure um, for my liking. I think that the green is just, I don't know. Because if you guys look up here, now he's got some of that kind of lighter green. But it's still off. Um, so I'm wishing he had kind of like the green that um, at least Raph back there has. I think if we got, let's see if I bring him over here. I think if we got this kind of shade of green, he would have looked 10 times better. Um, but overall, I mean, I like the figure. I like the mode. I think he's awesome. But I just think the green is not, I'm not feeling the green. I would rather him be this kind of green than that kind of green. Because just the colors are not blending well. Um, but, you know, which is, a, a for me, is I'm surprised, you know, that... um. There is an actual figure from the Vintage Turtle stuff that i not too much of a fan of. Because I, you guys know on my channel, I usually am a fan of all my figures for the most part. And I still am. I'm not saying he sucks. But I'm saying he's... I wish he was done better. I wish he was done better. And I know he could have been done better. Now, I'm not going to customize him. I'm just going to leave him as is. Because it's not a big deal to me. Um, and I do feel like... He's still an awesome figure and, you know, get him, definitely get him because obviously he's essential to the collection and to complete the wave and he brings cool accessories, but he could have been done better. Um, even Raph, Raph's green is not the best, but I would take Raph's green over this green. Um, but with that being said, or at least some more highlighted would have made this green a little bit better. But um, again, I'm not playing with the figure. I'm not going to customize it or anything. So it is what it is. Um, this is the last figure of the wave, guys. Last figure of the wave. So if you guys watch all three reviews, I really do appreciate it. Um, I want to say thank you, guys. Thank you, as always, for subscribing, supporting the channel. Go ahead, share, like, and comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um... Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, I definitely am looking forward to finding the Mutant Mayhem Wave 2 figures. So stay tuned for that. Um, and stay tuned for more toy hunting videos. Because um, that should be out soon as well. Um, that being said guys. Thank you guys for everything. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Um, I'm just going to let you guys see one more, one more view right there before we um, go. Alright guys. Catch you guys on my next one.